Okay, welcome, welcome again to Kai and Y007. I wanted to talk um, about the stocks and the stock market. Um, I've been wanting to do that for some time now. I've just briefly touched on it here and there. I'm going to talk about it more. I wanted to build up a little more confidence in some of the terminologies, etc. But I think that um, it's also best to get a good breakdown. As you see, even as I'm talking, this is switching up. This is where the price is. So what I want to focus in on is GME today. GME is GameStop. GameStop Corporation. Um, okay, I would have went a little further down for you. But you can see everything here because I'm trying not to show all of my portfolio, you know, for my own privacy. But as you see, look at this. It's moving. So take a look at this. This is how much I spent, okay, for two stocks. If you go by the symbol, it tells you what the stock is abbreviated for. It's code, which is GameStop Corporation, right? What's the quantity I bought? I have two in this account. The asset is an equity. This is the current going price per stock, per stock. So that's why it fluctuates a lot, up and down, up and down and such. I'm super excited. And this is why this was my cost. I purchased GameStop stock, two stocks. I purchased two of them. How much did they cost? They cost me nine dollars and six around 67 cents. Yeah, I think that's the exact amount. So I do write it down too. When did I purchase it at such a good price? Last year, I bought it um, September. It was right at the end of September. Okay, that's when I bought that stock at $9.67 a share. Now, yeah, I wish I had even more, but at least I have the two. Now, me personally, knowing this, I may, I'm still going to keep a stock, but I may sell the other one. Why? Because look at the profit. Okay, again, two of the stocks I purchased together were totaling, what, $19.25 it cost me. This is how much it's worth now if I just go ahead and say, take both back, sell them, and selling them. I'm getting $683.04. Wow. You know? So that's why me personally, I would say, you know what, I'm still going to keep one because I'm a holder. I hold on to stocks. It depends on what the stock means to me and what I think of the value of the stock. I see it's constantly moving. Now, I will say this too. It's 11.05 a.m. right now on a Wednesday. Today's date is January 27th. Now, two days ago, excuse me, yesterday, Dr. Boyce Watkins mentioned this on his channel. He has the Black Financial Channel as well as Dr. Boyce Live and um, Your Black World is on YouTube, okay? I stopped looking at the stocks because the market was um, changing so much and with COVID and the stimulus package being signed, but uh, being debated. And, you know, there's a lot of things that go on that affect the stock market. So I had to stop looking for a while. I didn't want to get discouraged and say, oh, I should go selling a bunch of stuff back then and stuff. I said, no, I'm going to hold on to it. Dr. Boyce Watkins teaches you that too. Know when to let it go, but know when to hold it. It's like you think of the song, know when to hold it, know when to fall, know when to walk away. Know when to run, um, but you better count your money. So he does not, we can't tell you who to pick. We can suggest, but we don't have a, 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 a crystal ball. So that's one thing people really have to take in mind with investing. It's on you, but get the education, get the information in so that you know how to go about it. Now, um, that's interesting too. Like even just as I just described <laughs> that I would make 600 something dollars something it went up some more to 755 <laughs> okay see what I'm saying so this I, I, it's amazing it's amazing so again yesterday what caught my attention because I didn't even know my stock went up so much Dr. Boyce spoke on it he said it's up 400% and this and that and I was like oh I'm in there I'm in there and um, I ran over there and uh, exchanged a couple a tip so I'm just like, you know, this this is this is pretty good. When um he mentioned it yesterday, he said it's up to $115 a share. So to me, I was like, 
that's great. I paid less than ten dollars, just under ten. So I said, okay, one hundred fifteen, cool, cool. Last night, well, yesterday evening, it said one forty seven or something. I said, wait a minute. He said one fifteen. That's almost one fifty. Wow. This morning, y'all, it said two hundred and ninety seven dollars and change. I had to make a phone call. I said, okay. Now I got on the phone with um um. Actually, I'll say I got on the phone with. I don't tell my business too much on here, but um, I I called my um my son. He's grown, and um, he's actually a big investor too. He does pretty good. Um, he loves to invest, and um, I have discussions about it too. I think one day I'll get him involved. He's a different type of trader. He's into, I mean, a s- investor. He's into trading and um something else. So I mostly have these now. These usually move slow. Stock market can move slow. Sometimes it can move fast, but you're mostly prepared for a slower paced investing. Any type of investing depends on you. What type of investor are you? And um, as you start to invest, I feel you start to learn what type of investor you are. Like I didn't realize I hold like I do, which is good, Um, even though I was in it for quicker money. But it's working out. Now, um, this morning, again, um, I'm up. Look, this is showing all of my, uh, this is all the stocks that I have under this portfolio. They're saying I'm up $505.85, which means in all total, if you were, if I was to take all of the stocks I'm in, which I would never do, and just said, hey, sell it all so I can gain this. It's like, uh, now over here, it would be feasible to go ahead and sell one of your uh, game stop because you paid $9.67. So you can go ahead and um, make some money because this is what it's going for. So I'm going to sell it for that or very close to that. Some people go a little higher, a little lower, the exact amount. Me, for my guarantee, I may go a little lower. Either way, I'm making out. Once again, I paid nine sixty seven for a stock that's worth almost it's this much. When I woke up this morning, like I said, it was two ninety seven. While I was on the phone with my son, I said, it just went to 300 even while I'm on the phone with you. Then I hung up, right? It sold 277. So I said, okay, it took down a little bit, but I'm going to watch it. I'm not going to let it go too low without, get, you know, possibly selling the stock. I want to get the money. But see how I stayed in it? Like I said, I woke up and um, came on here at 9 in the morning. It was at uh, 297 and 300 even. Look at it now. It's $366. 368 It keeps going up and down, but it looks like it's on the up, up. Who knows? By this afternoon, it could go up to 400 or by tomorrow. But I'm going to watch it. My whole thing is I'm not going to wait too, too long to where it drops down too far. You want to go ahead, if, you, if that's what you want to do, like I'm thinking, go ahead and sell a stock. Now let's move over here, and I'm going to wrap things up. Um, you set it up how you want. And by the way, this is TD Ameritrade, which is the number one investing site for beginners and also advanced people as well. But you have to start somewhere, and this is a great place to start, is Ameritrade. Um, they have the fundamentals everywhere. They have an app called Think or Swim. And the more you, you watch videos and learn, they keep track of it. And your percentage goes up, up, up for your knowledge. And it's great to have. They have 24-7. Um, there's someone always ready to answer your call when you call TD Ameritrade. I wonder why I'm having a hard time speaking today. Excuse me. They're available 24-7. And they're more than happy to help you. I've called them. Now, you can set up your charts any way you want. You may want your lowest stock to show up first. Me, I want the highest. The better you're doing is in green. That means it's a go. It's on the up and up. When it goes red, like you just saw for a second, see? That means, oh, the price dropped down some. And then it goes back up. But anytime it goes down any amount, it always lets you know it goes red. Then when it goes up, it's green. So those are your indicator colors there. This is a daily gain. I went over it again, but one more time. The symbol, this is the stock quantity. This is how many you have purchased. Asset, what type of asset is it? This is equity. Price, how much is the price if I want one right now? That's it. The cost, this is how much it cost me. This is how much I paid. And this isn't per, this is 
you have to break it down. However many he has, this is how many it was all together. So then you would just do the division. You would divide two into 1925, and it'll tell you exactly how much you paid per stock for each stock. This is the market value here. This is saying I have two. I paid this much, but this is how much they're worth right now, $729.66 both. In one day, what was my daily gain? The daily gain is $433.70. Wow. So that's how much you gained in one day. Um, now, day gain by percentage is 146.54% on the up. This gain, um, okay, this is the money gain. Now, these two, I believe, are on an average. They're your overall, this is how much it went up over time type of thing. These are daily, and this is a different type of time frame. 1749 market value to gain okay so this is how much 729 if I was to sell both stocks right now this is my gain this is how much I've actually pocketed the profit would be 71041 why because you got to deduct how much I paid for it I paid that okay that plus how much is worth is 729 but if I want to say hey Remove how much I paid. How much is the profit? How much am I getting back? Just sitting here saying, hey, I'm going to sell that those both those stocks. This is how much. $710.41. That's pretty good. That's pretty good to just have that in your lap like that and then to see it going up, up like that. Now it goes up and it goes down. I'm telling you, it started at three. Yesterday it went from what? Uh, it was lower. It was 100 Whatever it was, it went up to... The, 200 and then it went up to 300 today and it's, it's moving now the overall um, percentage gain 3,690.44 percent is my gain that's great okay so it's, it's doing pretty good it's doing really good um, so I just wanted to bring attention to that and knowing your research and shout out to Dr. Boyce Watkins as always. I've been rolling with him for about five years now. I educated myself before I had the money. I always wanted to learn more but never felt I had enough to um, matter to even get in. You have enough. There's stocks that cost five cents. There's stocks, there's just any price. Any price you can find stock. Next is I want to get into stock that's going to matter. That's probably going to mean something. And you may want to get in stock on something new. Somebody has a new great idea is going on. You're looking into it. You'd like to invest. You may want to go for it. So I just want to make a point of that. Investing is for everyone. It's just up to you if you want to join in. I suggest you do. People say, oh, I want to wait for the right time. Usually nothing's going to tap you and say now's the right time. You make it the right time. Get the information and get on in. Just come on in. Um, this has been going on for, what, decades. People have ways of make money on the side or, you know, through, um, through knowledge. This is one of the ways. And I've wanted to do this for, like, since I was um, in my late teens, but no one ever taught me or we always felt like we didn't have enough information or maybe it was out of our league, but it's not, and you got to get in. And I'm glad I did. Um, so to me, this is a good example of a stock where, People, if anything, were looking away. And I'm like, what? Why would you? Everyone's home. Everyone wants to be, needs to be entertained. Gaming is going up, 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 up. With um, uh, GameStop, too, like I said, some, and then some of the stores were closing down. But I'm like, there's still a needed online source. And it was a good price. Now look how it's paying off. It's going, you know, it's paying off. You know? I mean, even if you want to just sell one right now, go ahead. I spent less than 10 That's my profit right there. I supposed to sell you for over $300? And who knows later? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep an eye out on it. All right? Um, so I'm going to begin more with talking, uh, with investing, things like that. And um, if anyone, um, please feel free to leave comments, questions, suggestions, anything of the sort. If you'd like to um, have a private email my email is kynny0077 at gmail.com. 
And again, I'm going to do some more investing videos where I get specific. Some I will show my own part of my portfolio so you can see, but some of it will be knowledge and I'll tell you what I've seen, the knowledge I've obtained and um, what it's looking like now. So if that can help other people out there, because, you know, you want to get in on this. Um, so I'm excited. I'm happy. And um, I just want to discuss things. And it won't always be the ups. You do want to know about certain downs. We don't know how things are going to go, but it's just good to talk about. Good to um, build up confidence in yourself um, and build up awareness of the world around us economically and the role that we get to play in it. So as always, peace and blessings. And oh yeah, I wish you prosperity. And thank you for watching. It's coming. And I thank you. Take care. <laughs>